Hey guys, welcome to my channel, um, OG Fitness. So the OG is uh, is not original gangster. It's actually for older guy, because uh, I am an older guy, and um, you know, as an older guy, um, I came up with the idea of. Well, I didn't come up with it, but we have to train smarter, and we have to have a. a a more sustainable approach to to training in general to do fitness and and martial arts because uh i'm a lifelong martial artist and uh, i'm really into fitness so um you know but as you get older though you have to take a lot of more a lot more things into consideration well your time is one um your recovery um also your joints and you know a whole bunch of things you know because you if you want to be doing this for the rest of your life then you have to do it in, in a way that's smart so anyways today I want to talk about a book that um, that I found amazing a book that I wish uh, I've read and well it would have would have have to exist first of all um, but I wish that existed and that I would have read when I was like 13 years old because that's when I really started training in uh, in martial arts and you know lifting weights and all that. So this book is called actually right here, "Becoming a Supple Leopard" by Kelly Stark. So I'm just gonna read you the title of the book. Right, it's the ultimate guide to resolving pain, preventing injury, and optimizing athletic performance. Now, what I do now when I read a book. Uh, before I even decide to read a book is I have to check out who the author is and in this case uh, Kelly Start has a PhD in physiotherapy uh, he also has a, um, a CrossFit gym I think it was one of the first CrossFit gyms in San Francisco if I remember correctly um, so to me he's legit he knows what he's talking about and um, so that's why I bought the book it, it came actually highly regarded uh, recommended, I mean, uh, by Faraz uh, Zahabi, you know, the, the coach of uh, TriStar Gym here in Montreal, Quebec. So I bought the book and uh, I'm halfway through it and I'm telling you, it's an amazing book. Like if, you know, it's, it's actually kind of too good to be true because uh, I've, I've accumulated a lot of injuries throughout the years and a lot of things um, I've been able to address now at this point. And I know why, well, I know how to, to, to fix the problem and I know how to avoid it too so now first off um, this book is is a big book uh, it's about 500 pages so I just want to show you here what I'm talking about it's big I mean like this is my hand here this is the book and um, I'm just gonna open it here quickly for you guys to see this is where I'm at it's about halfway but it has a lot of pictures to you know, illustrate uh, uh, how do you say all the um, you know how to do your exercises and, and obviously to to better explain uh, what he's talking about, all the theory behind it and stuff like that. And this is a sort of book that's uh, structured in a way that's very easy to navigate. So you could once you're done with the um, uh, the principles and theories, right? Uh, then after that, you could skip around. To, to go look, to diagnose your problems and uh, then you can just go go straight to whatever uh, chapter whatever page you need to go to to fix that specific injury like for example if you have um, something wrong with your shoulder then once you understand the principles and theories you can just like uh, skip right to that part and it tells you how to fix that uh, that specific problem now the theory and the, the theory and the principle is really important because in order for you to to not get injured again, right? You have to understand how to do certain things to prevent that injury. Okay, so the book there's three things that that it talks about. Three main things, in my opinion. Okay, so one is posture. Okay, so the first thing is posture, and this is this is a lot more complicated than just standing up straight, you know, and then. But it's not that complicated like he makes it he's really he's really good at explaining things so like he explains you why your posture is really important how to properly align your spine and, and you know your body structure and all the bones and all that so that basically when you move you move in a way that's 
that's very functional and, and you move in the way that you're supposed to move so it, you're not causing any damage. So that's the first thing. Um, once you understand that, then he talks about creating torque. Now, when you move, you know, a lot of the movements, they come from your shoulders and, and your hips, right? But now to create torque, basically he teaches you how to do it um, through your hands and through your feet, through your hands so you could stabilize your shoulders when you're doing, you know, all sorts of movements, uh, bench pressing, dips, push-ups, whatever, you know? And then after that, your feet, how do you have to place your feet and how you have to, to, um, to use them so that you create torque and, and stabilize your knees, you know? And then after that, you go into posture. You have to brace your, um, your, your spine. And you do that by basically, like, you know, contracting your, your core, right? But before you do that, there's a, lot, a little bit more details to it. I don't want to get into all the details because this video would be really, really long. But, um, okay, so that's the second thing, right? And the third thing is he shows you these fundamental positions that you have to be able to get into. So he calls it archetype uh, positions, you know? And uh, these positions, if you're not able to get into these positions, it means there's something wrong with your mobility. Um, and if you have a mobility problem, well, you have to fix it. Because if you don't, well, you, you won't be able to do these exercises, your body will compensate, and then you're going to cause other problems. So that's basically um, the book in a, in a nutshell. So what I really like about this book is that with these fundamental positions, right, you're able to self-diagnose yourself. I'm looking at my notes here because, you know, it's, well, I don't want to forget anything. So... With these fundamental positions, you could self-diagnose your problems. So like if, uh, for example, you can't get into, um, uh, like let's say, a full squat, right? Well, then there's something wrong. It's either your hips, your knees, your, your ankles, or whatnot. So by using these positions as a, as a guideline, right, as a foundation, if you're not able to get into a certain position, you know there's something wrong. So if you know that something's wrong with that particular joint, then, then you can look, go, go in, read the book, uh, skip right to the, the section uh, of, um, of how to fix that particular problem. And once you fix that problem and you can get into that position, then you, well, ideally you re you've already read the theory and everything so that you don't get that problem again. And uh, so you can self-diagnose and you can self-rehab. And that's the beauty of it because self, if, you could, if you could find out, figure out your own problems and you can fix your own problems, you can save yourself a lot of time and a lot of money. And what I mean by that is that you don't have to go see the doctor all the time. Um, I know in the States, it's, it's crazy. You guys, um, it costs a lot of money and the healthcare isn't free like here up in Canada, right? But even here, I mean, it takes forever to get an appointment. It's not like, you know, it's not that easy either. And then after that, like, let's say your, your doctor tells you, okay, well, you got to go do some physio. Well, hey, physio costs money, man. Going to see an osteopath or whatnot, you know, not everybody has the, the money for that type of stuff, you know. Uh, and also, a, a really nice thing about this book is that, about rehabbing the way he shows you how to do it, is that it really doesn't take that much equipment. Uh, we're talking about a lacrosse ball, um, some floss bands that you can get off Amazon, um, you know, and all these things that have to do with like massage, you know, small equipment, not really not expensive, and um, you could just do this, do do all of this at home, you know, once you have the equipment. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this review of um, becoming a supple leopard by Kelly Starrett, and. Um, I'll put a link down below. It's an Amazon link. It's an affiliate link. So if you actually buy something, um, you know, once you click on this, once you click on the link and then you go to Amazon, then I get a little something. So that's just you know full disclosure there. And um, listen, if you don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have any questions. Um, yeah, I'll, tr I'll do my best to answer them. And um, that's it, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video.